we sponsored this year's Scream Jam, offering some GDevelop subscriptions to the first, second, and third place winners in the jam, as well as some goodies for the highest ranked GDevelop game in the jam. Because this jam wasn't exclusively GDevelop games. It was a great chance for people to mingle with and compete against developers they might have never met otherwise. This year's Scream Jam had 3,500 people join, with almost 500 games submitted, with dozens of those being made with GDevelop. We're going to look at some of those GDevelop games and make our way to the highest ranking games in the jam. Starting with A Spooky Cat Venture by Super Blue Yoshi which placed 31st in the story category, where you play as a small cat in a big empty dark house. You explore the abandoned mansion and collect clues about the house's former owner while avoiding the ghost that is chasing you. Then there was The Fifth Wall by Attested Adam. This game tied a spooky cat venture for 31st place in the story category. And the game is a short story horror game where you control a person named Ella. Ella wakes up inside of the game, unable to move their body on their own, only to be told by a computer AI that they're stuck in this world with no way to escape, and that the player is now in control of their movements and fate. Then there was Mr. Do What I Say by Chaos KYT, which placed 28th in horror. It's a videotape horror game where you play with Mr. Do What I Say. The game is played mostly with the mouse, and you get to have fun playing games like Click the Button, Chase the Glorbs, and The Face of Pure Evil. Then there was The Hunt by Cold Winter Cabin, which got 27th place in Story. The game is done in the same retro style as Faith or Oregon Trail, and has a genuinely spooky story setup at first. And then it switches to a wave defense game where you fend off the enemies in hopes of surviving to see where the story goes after your father is killed while on the hunt. The next game is kind of a joke game. It's called Boogerfinger Shooter by Hanwen Zumame, which got 25th in the enjoyment category. It is a very silly game about picking a nose and flinging whatever comes out of it. I don't know what it has to do with horror, but after I picked an alien spaceship out of the nose, and it got abducted by a flying cow, I had to play the game all the way to the end. Then there was Nine to Life by AnthroDev, which placed 17th in sound design. It's a top-down randomized horror game where you try to escape a killer. You run through a randomized office building, looking for an elevator key so you can escape to the next floor, but the killer is right on your tail. The sound and music escalates in that classic horror movie style that really gets your blood pumping. Next was The Truth Must Be Found by Me Good Dev, which got 15th in the horror category. It's a top-down, dark, pixelated horror game that makes effective use of sound and lighting to creep out its player. Then there was The House by Stefano Gaming, which got 15th in Aesthetic. The game is a dark platformer game where you follow a girl on her journey through the house that no longer resembles her own, as she looks for the components for a ritual to bring back her loved ones. Then, there was Static Echoes by Power Up Pictures, which came in 12th in the enjoyment category, but was also singled out by the host of the jam as one of their favorite games, becoming one of the G-host picks. Static Echoes is a puzzle game and a wild mix of genuine spooky horror paired with weirdly uncanny goofiness that makes you both curious about what's going on and very concerned about it. And it's that time of the week again to play your favorite game and mine! It's Red Herring! And then the highest ranking G-Developed game in the jam was The Last Toll by Devomi, which came in sixth in the enjoyment category. It's a mix of platformer brawler and tower defense game with a Lovecraftian theme where you live through the last moments of an officer trying to lure the Eldritch Horrors away from the populace of the city. 
The game features a leaderboard, randomized upgrades, and increasing difficulty that makes it a fun high score experience. If you made a game for the Scream Jam, you can upload your game to gd.games and add the Scream Jam tag within a week of this video going up to be added to that category on the site so more people can find your game. We hope everyone enjoyed this spooky game jam. The turnout was good, and so we might do this sort of thing again in the future. But for now, happy hunting.